Now at 530, the use of the death penalty remains part of the national conversation. Alabama has scheduled its third execution using nitrogen, leading to the tense debate over whether its use is humane. In theory, it involves depriving a person of oxygen, replacing the air breathed with 100 percent nitrogen. Meanwhile, here in Ohio, Republican lawmaker is renewing the call to end the death penalty here in our state. Thanks for sticking with us at 530. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. State Senator Michelle Reynolds says the time is right to have the conversation about ending the death penalty. 10 TV political reporter Doug Petcast joins us in studio and he talked to Reynolds about her reasons and the timing. Well, Yolanda, Andrew, the main reason Senator Reynolds says she wants to abolish the death penalty is her belief in the sanctity of life. And she says the time is right because there have been no executions since Governor Mike DeWine took office. Republican State Senator Michelle Reynolds says the death penalty should be abolished because she believes life is from the womb to the tomb. I don't think it necessarily matters um, if, you know, being pro-life just when we're talking about babies. I think um, being pro-life is really about life, period, all life. Reynolds also says the death penalty does not necessarily mean closure for victims' families. But there's been a lot of families who have spoke about the death penalty and, and just saying that um, because of the appeals and them having to relive and not really getting justice. Companion bills in the Ohio House and Senate would abolish the death penalty and require life sentences for those convicted of aggravated murder. Just this past June, the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus pushed for them to be passed. The bills have bipartisan support, but have not moved out of committee since being introduced in 2023. Reynolds and House Minority Leader Allison Russo say bipartisan support continues to grow, but believe it could take a long time to make a major policy change on the death penalty. Based on, I think, what I uh, have seen and the priorities of uh, the majority party in this state, uh, I suspect that this is something that is going to take a number of years. According to this year's Capital Crimes Report, 119 inmates are sitting on Ohio's death row. The state carried out its last execution in 2018. Governor Mike DeWine has instituted an unofficial moratorium on executions, citing the lack of lethal injection drugs, and has said there will be no executions while he is in office. Even if it takes a while for us to get this right, I mean, it just seems like there's been this stay and we're in limbo. And I think that that's the closure we need to move this forward. According to the Death Penalty Information Center, the 23 states in yellow on this map have no death penalty, including the Midwestern states of Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Minnesota. Washington, Colorado, and Virginia abolished their death penalties within the last six years. Reynolds believes it's time to be in this group. I just think that at this point, we can join other Midwestern states and move forward in this conversation. And I think it's a conversation worth having. Uh, besides Ohio, five other states have paused executions by executive action. That leaves 21 states that still have the death penalty as we speak. Yolanda. All right. Thank you, Doug. Well, some state leaders are pushing to end the unofficial moratorium on the death penalty in Ohio. One of the officials calling for nitrogen hypoxia to be used as an alternative method of execution is Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost. And here's what he said about the death penalty back in January. This is not something that should be taken lightly. But at the same time, there are crimes that are so heinous, that are so against basic humanity, that they deserve the ultimate punishment. Now the push to restart the death penalty is happening in the General Assembly. House Bill 392 is the currently in the House Government Oversight Committee. This bill would allow inmates to choose to have lethal injection or nitrogen hypoxia for their executions. If the injection drugs are not available, then nitrogen would be used. Again, Governor Mike DeWine initially paused executions because of the lack of lethal injection drugs.